Good morning, neighbors. We're going to sing a song and talk about peace today. I felt your presence. You've helped me stand. Been guided through trials by the touch of your hand. When lost on life's journeys through valleys you lead, I know your everything I'll ever need. There's peace in knowing, Lord, you're in control. You've got your hand on my life. You've got a hold on my soul. There's joy abundant. I just have to tell. I'm drinking sweet water from your living well. You're my shelter in wind, my cover in rain, my joy when I'm happy, my healer in pain. You're my redeemer, and you are my are my future beginning and end. There's peace in knowing, Lord, you're in control. You've got your hand on my life. You've got a hold on my soul. There's joy abundant. I just have to tell. I'm drinking sweet water from your living well. can't have peace in the midst of trials and temptations. Uh, a lot of times we think that peace is the absence of all problems, but peace is actually something that you have in the midst of problems. Anybody can have peace when everything is going right. And we know that our Savior is called the Prince of Peace. We're going to read that in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. And uh, at this time of year, especially people, that you see that word a lot out, peace, peace, because a child was given to us. We can have peace. He will be called the Prince of Peace. And I like it. And that his government, the increase of his government, there will be peace. Uh, the governments of this world, they're trying their, maybe they're trying their best, their hardest to bring peace to this world, but it's a man-made, it's an artificial peace. It's something that will not last because men are just weak. But I wanted to challenge ourselves today. I was reading something and I happened to see something I thought was interesting. Uh, Jesus knew, this is what someone wrote, Jesus knew that his mission on earth would not always create peace. He constantly confronted his adversaries, which made them hate him all the more. He drove out the money changers in the temple with a whip. He also stated in Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 to 36, that his coming would cause division even within families. But what is the root of Jesus' actions and words? He came to promote perfect peace, whether people accepted him or not. His father had assigned him to a mission, knowing it would involve hatred, violence, and even death. Yet Jesus was victorious over these challenges because the dark powers of evil could not defeat the Prince of Peace. As a, as a follower of Jesus, you are called to promote peace, but that will sometimes result in conflict. Peace is not the absence of conflict, which may be different from what you have learned. Instead, it's an active pursuit of restoring God's, God's kingdom here on earth. And you will face opposition at times. With God's help, you can learn to promote peace. So we are called, you know, in the Beatitudes, you know, we are called to be peacemakers. But I think th this is interesting when we le hear these words as this continues. And I've heard different or read different things about this. Are you a peacemaker? or a peacekeeper. A peacekeeper, they are often afraid of conflict. 
Their fear of conflict can lead to many ongoing problems, including the following. People pleasing tendencies, being treated like a doormat, lack of confidence or self-worth, codependency, anxiety, or depression. You know, you are just trying to keep peace. You're not making peace. You're just trying to... I'll just, I'll just keep my mouth shut. I won't do anything. I'll just, but that's not what Jesus did to bring peace to the world, to become the Prince of peace. He had to challenge people. There was conflict, but the characteristics of a peacemaker, a peacemaker is not afraid of conflict, though he or she does not seek it out either. Peacemaking people stay calm and self-controlled during conflicts and they help others to reach an agreeable solution. Here are other characteristics of a peacemaker. Reasonable, level-headed, shows grace to others, listens well and shares wisdom, bears the fruits of the Spirit, and promotes unity and reconciliation. Peacemakers not only bring peace into their personal conflicts, but can serve as mediators for people in other conflicts. They trust God to give them the guidance they need to act wisely in difficult situations. Every one of us can become a peacemaker with guidance from God. So, Lord, help us. That's what we want. Again, uh, I fall more into the peacekeeper uh, trap. Just keep your mouth shut. All you've brought, this is peace. But really, that's not what Jesus did. He's saying, blessed are you if you're a peacemaker. You know, that's what you want. You want to be able to step into an environment where there's conflict and bring about a, a solution, a peace, a unity. So, Lord, help us. And really, it's a great challenge. So I pray that we can live up to that. So God bless you all today in Jesus Christ's name.